fight crime and corruption. Ayan ang zero to ten point Sabi agenda. Sabi nga niya, suppressed by 2016 eh. Oo nga, alright. Pero hindi nga na suppressed by... Of course, that is obviously, no way can that be achieved. Pero meron ba tayong indicators na bumaba ang crime natin in 2017? Yung sinasabi po nila ng police, bumaba daw po yung crime index. Pero kung titignan mo yung independent source, uh, kagaya nga nung sa rule of law, actually, uh, niradango po nila yung mga bansa. Bu bumaba tayo ng bumaba. Nandun na tayo sa 107 mula sa 70. Diba? Tapos sa criminal justice, 102 mula dun sa 70. So overall po, yung rank natin, number 88 tayo sa mga countries na nag walang talagang rule of law. So, bumaba ang perception natin with respect to safety. What about corruption? Eh, kasi po, ma'am, sabi dun sa rule of law, yung mga bansa na malaki yung threat sa opposition, na napapatay, yung mga o tinatakot, yung mga media, mababa daw talaga yung rule of law dun. Kasi walang opposition. Dahil natatakot eh. Yan po yung nangyayari sa atin ngayon eh. Walang opposition kasi natatakot tayo. Kaya tuloy, Yung gobyerno can get away with anything, kaya yung rule of law talagang rule of personality, hindi natin iginagalang yung batas. What about corruption? Meron ba tayong uh, independent estimates as to what happened to corruption in the Philippines? Uh, again, meron tayong corruption index. no? So, number 111 po tayo out of 180. That is in when? 2017? Okay. Rango 111. What were we in 2015? 2015, 95. 2016, 101. 2017, 111. Pag tumataas ang, ang numero, that means nagwe-worsen. po yung corruption. Okay. So, if crime is not good, according to the independent estimates, and corruption is not good, has, has deteriorated, According to independent estimates, that means that in with respect to his zero agenda, failure siya. Talaga po. Kasi kita-kita mo naman ngayon kahit yung recent development, sunod-sunod ang patayan at saka yung mga matataas na tao ang napapatay. So, okay. paano na lang yung mga maliliit na tao, kamukha, kamukha ko, mas oh. nakakatakot. How can it be a failure when the very people who are supposed to be served by this administration in terms of achieving peace and order situation, eh, nagsasabing they feel safer. Yung mga kritiko lang nagsasabi niya. As against them, and to these people, eh, mas paniniwalaan ko yung tao mismo in the streets. Na umuwi ng bahay, galing sa trabaho, pupunta sa trabaho, pupunta sa eskwela, galing sa eskwela na ang feeling nila, mas ligtas sila nila. Of course, lahat may area to improve. Well, hindi ba, kasi as I said, hindi naman perfect pa eh. Siguro, the fourth year, makikita mo lahat yung mga nilatag niyang pundasyon, magkakaroon ng resulta. In a scale of 1 to 10, I will rate the administration sa achievement niya mga 7.5. One day, justice will catch up with those who still government funds. And when the day comes, it will be the public who will have its retribution. While we run after those who steal the people's money, we're also enhancing the government's delivery of frontline services. I thank Congress for the swift passage of the ease of doing business, which is significant. fight against corruption and improving service of delivery. We need to sustain our momentum, and I hereby direct all government units, makinig sana kayo, and government agencies to faithfully implement this law and simply simplify the process. Hinihingi ko yan sa lahat na sa gobyerno under my control and supervision. Wag ko kayong magkamali.